Hello, and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics AT1000 Pro 2 1000 Watt Automatic Antenna Tuner. In this video, we look at using the AT1000 Pro 2 with ICOM and Yaesu radios when using the optional ICOM or Yaesu radio interface cables. Before installing these interface cables, please see part 1 of this video series on how to install the AT1000 Pro 2. First, let's look at the ICOM radio interface cable. The ICOM interface cable has a 4-pin connector on the radio end of the cable and splits out into a DC power connector and a control connector on the tuner end of the cable. When using the ICOM interface cable, the AT1000 Pro 2 is powered directly from the radio. To install the ICOM interface cable, first turn off the radio. Plug the 4-pin connector into the tuner jack on the back of the ICOM radio. The other end of the interface cable is the DC power plug. Plug that into the jack marked power on the rear of the AT1000 Pro 2. Plug the 8th inch stereo plug into the jack marked radio. We're now ready to begin tuning. First, turn on your radio. Next, be sure your amplifier is in bypass. Tuning is now greatly simplified. Simply press and hold the tune button for one second on the AT1000 Pro 2 to begin tuning. The radio will be instructed to transmit a carrier for as long as is necessary to complete the tuning cycle. When done, the tuner call LED will light up on the ICOM radio. With the ICOM radio, you also can tune by pressing and holding the tuner call button on the radio for one second. Tuning will be as before, and will continue until the tuning cycle is complete. Pressing the tuner call button momentarily will bypass the AT1000 Pro 2. Press and hold the tune button on the AT1000 Pro 2 for more than two and a half seconds to force a full tuning cycle. When tuning is complete, you may now unbypass your amplifier and begin transmitting. Hello CQ CQ. Hello CQ CQ. The optional Yesu radio interface cable is a short 8th inch stereo cable with a red connector on the radio end and a black connector on the tuner end. This cable works with FT857 and FT897 family radios. To begin installation of the Yesu interface cable, first turn off your Yesu radio. Plug the red end of the Yesu interface cable into the ACC jack on the rear of your Yesu radio. Plug the black end of the cable into the radio jack on the rear of the AT1000 Pro 2. Unlike the ICOM interface cable, the Yesu cable does not supply power to the AT1000 Pro 2, so you'll have to plug in the DC coax power plug. To begin using the interface cable, turn on your Yesu radio and the AT1000 Pro 2 tuner. Bypass your amplifier before tuning. To begin a full tuning cycle, press and hold the tune button for two and a half seconds. The cable will instruct the radio to transmit a tuning carrier for the duration of the tuning cycle. To begin a memory tuning cycle, press and hold the tune button on the AT1000 Pro 2 for one second. You can see that memory recall is almost instantaneous. After tuning is complete, unbypass your amplifier and transmit. Hello CQ CQ. Hello CQ CQ. This concludes the fourth and final part of the AT1000 Pro 2 instructional video series. 
be sure to read your printed manual or check online at www.ldgelectronics.com for more information.